here's another edition of Vlogging While Driving. That's my intro song. Uh, uh, nothing much really today. Uh, only thing that I was thinking about actually was... Um, apparently... Uh, what's that dude's name? Can't think of his name now. Um, Michael Bay is reported to start working on the new Ninja Turtles movies. So, originally I was actually excited because, you know, I thought Michael Bay. He did such a great job on Transformers. No, but seriously, I do like, you know, Pirates. Well, at least the first one. The first one was insanely awesome. But, yeah, apparently he he's saying that these new Ninja Turtles that he's going to be doing, they're not going to actually be turtles, but aliens that look like turtles. Already there's a problem there just because that doesn't even make sense. If they look like turtles, then you really shouldn't call them turtles. You should just call them aliens that look like turtles. Um, yeah, so apparently uh, he's going to be doing the producing and the director is going to be the director of Clash of Titans, which I actually enjoyed. I, I like movies like that, so I did like Clash of Titans, but I don't know. To me, of course, people were upset. I was upset too. I mean, and that's what I kind of miss. I know computers help with movies nowadays, but I remember reading in this, these magazines back when Ninja Turtles first came out. The, the effects of Ninja Turtles were so insanely awesome. What amazed me the most and what, when I remember reading these magazines was that somebody was actually in them. They were animatronic heads, but there was an actual person in the suit. And that's what was amazing because when you watch Ninja Turtles, even now, obviously you know it's not real. But the quality of it is very, very good. Uh, and now with computers, I think the problem with the computer is that because you have such a... Because it's it's possible to make it look realistic, they sometimes take it too far where it doesn't look realistic. A perfect example would be Transformers. To me, Transformers, it's hard, obviously. I know you're going to have to use computers. There's nothing you could do about that. I mean, there's no way you're going to make a truck really move, even if you did get a puppet. But, I mean... It just was so fake, and it was just so hard to believe. And then you look at movies like Alien or Predator, where they used a mix of both, puppeteer and, you know, animatronic. And you just get a much more sincere effect. You get something more real. Um, but anyway, that's not the point. The point is, he's not going to make them turtles. If you don't know the story of Ninja Turtles, there are four tur turtles that got stuck in some goo. This goo... Uh, was able to give them the ability to walk and talk. Uh, they got taught by their master sensei Splinter, who was a rat. Uh, they tried, or they fought against an evil person named Shredder. If you take away the turtles from having this kind of backdrop storyline, which obviously they need to have, but if you take that away from them, then they're not going to have that. So what is Splinter going to be? It would suck if they come here, I and mean, if he's going to make them like aliens, and then, oh, Earth is fighting against these turtle aliens, and, I mean, that would just be, I would, I don't know. I know the effects are going to be good, but I, me personally, I'm disappointed. I grew up in the turtles, watched the cartoons, watched the movies, played with the toys, and they were awesome. And so now to know that in this new release, you know, and, and I know you... Don't judge yet. Let's wait to see if it comes out. It might be awesome. My, I'm not concerned whether the movie's going to be good or not. I'm sure the movie's going to be good, at least decent. Um, it's going to have great action, great effects, but that's not the point. The point is you're messing with something that, for me personally, I grew up with, and I hold it dear. It's something that I'd like to show my kids, but now what? Now they're going to say, well, what's the difference between this turtle and this new turtle come out in 2013? My thing is there are certain things that you don't mess with. I mean, look at Transformers 2, when they those two robots who they got in trouble for because it was very racist, and I would agree. Um, and it's, I mean, it's just stuff like that where they try to change it up or they try to make it more like, oh yeah, and it's just like, why? I'd like to see a remake of a movie that actually follows the line. And that's it. I'd like, I, you know what I think did a great job of that? Iron Man. Iron Man was a great movie. It followed the line as far as the storyline. And, and it was, it was great. It was, it there was nothing missing. It was a good movie. And actually, pretty much most of the Marvel... Now that I think about it, most of the Marvel movies... Another one is Green Lantern. The effects were terrible, but the actual storyline was was pretty good. It was actually accurate. And it, it made sense. 
And I'm looking forward to the part two. So, I mean, that's my thing. I just wish that they would make these remakes as a remake from the original storyline. Make it better with the effects. Make it better with the action. Make it better with the acting. But don't change the story and mess up the entire history of what you're doing. Now you're just making a new movie. You're not making a Ninja Turtles remake. You're just making a movie about aliens that look like turtles. Anyway, that's my rant for today. I'm sorry. Uh, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you can, subscribe. Also, please like or favorite the video. It helps. Be sure to watch the previous vlog of me ranting nonsense or the, the next one, which probably isn't up right now when you're watching this. But anyway, have a great day. Have a great night whenever you're watching this. And I hope to see you on the next vlog. Thanks for watching.